Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Japanese aesthetic inspired product page template with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to install WooCommerce. It's absolutely free. So this is going to be our shopping cart plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. And all you have to do is to search WooCommerce. And the first product that comes up here is the one that we need. And as you can see here, it says active. That is because I've gone ahead and installed it. All right, so now that I've installed it, the next stage is to add our product. So I'm going to come over here to products. And once you install WooCommerce, by the way, it will, in, uh, it will add these two items here on your left panel here. So if you hover over WooCommerce, you'll have all your extra features. And on the products, this is where you can actually add a brand new product. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on add new. Next on the top here, I'm going to give this product a name. So we're just going to call this calligraphy set. And then we're also going to need a product description. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now over here, we need to add the price. So you can just add your price, whatever it is. And then over here, we want to add a category. So you can see here, I've added mine called art supplies. So this is where this is going to be. But if you want to add a brand new category, all you have to do is to click here on add new category, give it a name and then click on add new category. All right. So moving on, the next stage now is to add our featured image. So to add our image here for our product, you want to come over here to product image. Then I'm going to click upload and upload all my files. So these are the images that I'm going to need. I'm going to click open. So the image I'm going to add first is this one here. I'm going to select it, click on set, set product image. Now I also need to add some more images here to the gallery. So I'm going to click here on add gallery images. And then I'm just going to select all the images that I need for the gallery. Right, so these are the four images that I'm going to need. Click on add to gallery and now all my four images have been added. All right, so the next stage now is to head over here to the attributes. So over here on the attributes, we want to add our attributes. So the first one here is going to be one brush. So I'm going to click here on add attribute. So let me just add here what's included. So it's going to be one brush. I'm going to save the attributes. I'm going to add one bowl. So once you've added all your attributes, and there's quite a few of these, so you can see here, one bowl has been added. You want to continue adding these. So the next one is going to be ink bottle, pear scissors, river stone, and realm of paper. So go ahead and add all those on the attributes. So now that we've added all our attributes, all I have to do now is to publish this page, make sure everything's all saved, and then we want to build this from the Divi Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and activate use Divi Builder. And now that I've activated it, so I'm going to click here and choose full width, click on update, and then I'm going to build this from the front end. So I'm going to click here on build on the front end. Now by default, it comes with all this information, but of course, we want to build this from scratch. So I'm just going to delete everything and then start by creating a new section. So I'm going to come over here to the top left, click on section settings. I'm just going to snap this over to the left. And then I'm going to come over here to background and add my background color by clicking on this plus button. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so that's the color I'm going to add. Now, we also need to adjust our width. So I'm going to come over here to design, sizing, and then I'm going to set my width to 100%, maximum width 100%. Now, on the spacing, what I'm going to do here is to add a top padding of zero VW. And on the bottom, I'm going to set it to two VW. Now it's time to add our single column. So I'm going to save this, click on this plus button, add a single column. And before I add any modules, I need to go into my row settings here, click on design sizing, and I'm going to set my width here to 80%. But on the tablet and phone, we also need to change this to about 63%. So I'm going to click on this little icon here, click on tablet. And on tablet, I'm going to set it to 63. And on the phone, it needs to be 63 as well. Now we're going to head over to our spacing and add zero VW to the margin. And that needs to be the top and bottom and then save. So the next thing we're going to need to do here is to add our Woo breadcrumb module. So I'm going to click on this plus button and I'm just going to search for Woo breadcrumb. And there it is. I'm going to select it. 
All right, so now we need to customize the text. So I'm gonna come over here to the design tab and we're gonna change this font to Duru Sans. We'll go ahead and select that. The font style, we're gonna set this to all caps, set the color to black. And now for the size. So for the desktop, we're gonna set this to 0.7 VW. And we're also going to need to go in and set our sizes for the tablet and phone. So for the tablet here, we're gonna set it to about 1.5 VW. And for the phone, we're gonna set it to 1.7 like that. So this just ensures that uh, on the three views, it's nice and easy to read. Now we're gonna come over here to letter spacing and we're gonna set this to two pixels. Now here we also need to set our width. So I'm just gonna collapse this and then I'm gonna come over here to sizing and set my width to about 100%. Now finally, we need to adjust our spacing. So I'm gonna come over here and set my margin and the margin here is going to be margin top of 3 EM. And for the bottom margin, we're gonna set this to 1 EM. And then over here for the padding, we're gonna set this to 1 EM. And left padding, we're gonna set this to 2 EM. So once we're done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then next, we need to add another row. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and this time we need two equal columns. Go ahead and select that. So again, as we did before, we need to go into the settings. So I'm gonna come over here, click on design sizing, set this to, in fact, we need to go into our width here and set it to 80%. And for the tablet and phone, we're gonna set this to 65%. So now that we have our sizes for the desktop, the tablet and the phone, the next stage now is to add our spacing and our top padding here is gonna be zero VW. So I'm gonna come over here, click on spacing and for our top padding, zero VW. So now we need to start our columns. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to add colors. So I'm gonna click here on the first column, click on background and we're gonna add white to this background. Go back here again, set the second one to white as well. So now you can see these two columns here have a white background. Now we also need to add a border to these columns. So I'm gonna come all, all the way down here to design, click on border. So here we're gonna, we want our border to be on all sides and we're going to set our border width to four pixels and we might as well set up the color here and the color is okay as it is. So we're gonna save that, come to the first column, do the same thing. Now what you could also do here, you can just copy the styles, but I'm just gonna go in and just do it manually. So I'm gonna click here on border. We want all the sides, four pixels and the color is fine. And then we're gonna save. Now over here, we're gonna add an image. So we're gonna add Woo images as our module. Now over here, you can see it shows the gallery. It pretty much shows everything that we have for our product here. So on elements, I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure show image featured images on and we disable the gallery images and the sale badge. So all we have now is just the image and then save. Now we also need a title to this. So I'm gonna click on this plus button Search for my Woo Titles module, and you can see here the text has just gone in. Now all we have to do is to go in and customize this text by clicking here, and then we want to click on title text, and here for the font, we're gonna search for Droid Sans. So for the style, we're gonna make it all caps, and then we're gonna make it very dark gray. So for our text here, I'm just gonna reduce this a little bit, and then over here on the, the letter spacing, we're gonna set this to five pixels. And for the line height, we're gonna set this to one EM. So as you can see, this text here is way too close to the edge. So what we, uh, what we need to do here is to head over to spacing. And this is where we can set our margins and also our padding. So let's start with the padding. So for our top padding, we're gonna set this to zero VW. For the bottom, we're gonna set this to 1.5. And for the left, two VW. And then for the right, we're gonna set this to zero. Now let's add our border. Now this border is only going to be applied to the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. We're gonna set this to four pixels and we're also going to set our color and then save. All right, so the next stage is to add our description for our product. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this plus button and the module that we need is called the word description. I'm gonna select it and now it's time to customize the text. So the first thing we need to do is to set our fonts. So I'm gonna come over here and we're going to just use this Duru Sans. We're gonna make it all caps. And the color here is going to be the dark gray that we've used before. So all I have to do is to click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now let's add the size for our text. I'm gonna scroll down over here. We're gonna set this to 0.8 VW and that's for the desktop. For the tablets, uh, we're gonna set this to 1.4 because as you can see, it looks quite small. So I'm gonna add it over here. And then for the phone, we're gonna set it to 1.8 and then back over here to our desktop tab. 
So over here on the letter spacing, we need to set this to about three. And for our line height, we're gonna set this to two EM. Now, as you can see, this description text here needs some breathing space. So we're going to achieve this by coming over here to spacing. So for our top and bottom padding, we're gonna set this to zero VW. But for our left and right padding, we're gonna set this to two VW. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Next, we also need to add our pricing. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and let's search for our module and it's gonna be Woo Pricing. There we go. So you can see where we're going with this. I need to customize this text as well. So I'm gonna come over here to design, price text, change this to Drew Sands. And then over here on color, we're gonna set this to a dark gray. Now let's head over to the size. So our size here is going to be 1.5 VW. And I might as well set the sizes for the tablets, which is going to be 3.2. And for our phone, it's going to be 4VW. Now over here on the letter spacing, we're gonna set this to three pixels and uh, line height is going to be 1EM. So as you can see, the text here is way too close to the edges. So we also need to add uh, margins and padding. So over here, we're gonna go to spacing. So the first thing we need to do is to add our top margin. And this is going to be one VW and our bottom margin. So for our bottom margin, we're just gonna leave it as it is. And then over here on the padding, we're gonna set this to one VW to the top and the bottom is going to be zero VW. And then for the right padding, we're gonna set this to two VW. Next, we're going to align this to the right. So I'm just gonna come over here to my text alignment, align this to the right. And we also need a border on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select here. And our border here is going to be on the top and we're gonna set it to four pixels and the color is okay with this dark gray. Now the next stage is to add another Woo module and this time it's going to be the add to cart. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, search for it and select it. So before we go in and start customizing this, I'm just gonna come over here to elements and where it says show quantity field, I'm just gonna say no to that and then also on the show stock, I'm just gonna disable that. So over here on the background, I'm gonna set my background color to that dark gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now it's time to customize our text on our button. So I'm gonna come over here to design. So first of all, I'm gonna come over here to, to button, use custom styles for button. So this allows us now to go in and make some changes to our button. So I'm gonna start here with the text size. So I'm gonna add one VW here for my text size. And I might as well add my sizes here for my tablet and my phone. So on the tablet, we're gonna set this to 2.6. And for the phone, we're gonna set it to 3.1. Now here for the text color, I'm gonna set it to white. And the border width, we're gonna set this to zero. Moving on to the letter spacing, we're gonna set this to three. And our font here is going to be the font that we've been using before, which is the Duru Sans, all caps. Now we're gonna, Go all the way down here and set our top and bottom padding, which is going to be 0.5 VW, both to the top and the bottom. And we might as well also add the left padding, which is going to be one VW. Next, we're going to add a border to this. So I'm gonna come all the way down here to border, choose the top border, set it to four pixels. And the color here is okay. Now we also need to align this button here to the right. And then finally, we just need to save. Now over here, we also need to add another module. And this time, the, uh, the module that we're going to add here is going to have our additional information. So I'm just gonna search for it and select it. So over here on the elements, make sure show title is set to on. All right, so next we're gonna come over here to our text, select our font, which is Duru Sans. We're gonna make it italist, all caps. So we're gonna set our colors. So I'm gonna come over here, add my very dark gray. Now it's time to add our text size. So this is gonna be my size for my desktop. For the tablet, we're gonna set this to 1.5. And then for the phone, it's gonna be 2.4. Now over here on the letter spacing, we're gonna set this to 2 EM. And for our line height, it's fine at 1.5. Now let's work on our title text. So for our title text here, just gonna click on title text. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to set our font. So it's gonna be Duru Sans, all caps. It's gonna be a very dark gray, like the one that we used before. All right, so let's move over here to the size. And then on the size here, we're gonna set this to one VW. And let's go into the tablet and set our size for the tablet as well. So here, we're gonna set this to two VW. And for the phone, you're gonna set it to 2.2 VW. Now over here on the letter spacing, we're gonna set this to three and our line height to 1.5. 
Next, we're gonna move on to the attribute text and we also need to make some changes to this. So let's start with our font here. Set it to all caps, but for our attribute font weight, let's leave it at um, regular. And then for our text size here, we also need to make some adjustments to it. So we're gonna start here by setting our desktop to 0.7. And then for our phone, I mean for our tablet, we're gonna set it to 2VW. And then for the phone, we're gonna set this to 2.4. Moving on to the letter spacing, we're gonna set this to two pixels. Now let's work on our padding. So over here now, we just need to give this some breathing space. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to spacing and let's start with our top padding, set this to one VW. And this is gonna be both for the top and the bottom. And then over here on the left, we're gonna set this to two VW. So pretty much this is what we need to do here. I'm gonna save. And then over here, we also need to add a Woo gallery module. So I'm gonna search for it. So the quickest way here is to just search and then just start typing. Uh, what module it is that you need to add in here. And then this just narrows it down. So I'm gonna choose Wool Gallery. Next, I'm gonna come over here to the Design tab, click on Layout, and just make sure that this is set to Slider because there's two options here, Grid and Slider. Next, we're gonna come all the way down here to our spacing and add a margin of minus two VW, just so that I just move it up a little bit. Our top padding is gonna be zero VW. All right, so next for our border here, we just need to add our border to the top. So I'm gonna select it, set this to four pixels, and our color here is fine at this very dark gray. And then we're going to save. All right, so now that you've finished designing this, what we need to do now is to save this to our library. So I'm gonna come over here to the top, click on save to library. I'm just gonna call this product layout, save to library. So this is our final product. Now, what you could also do is to save this to the library and also add it to the template. So future products that you add onto your shop will have this layout. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.